You know, I also start from the bottom. Literally. My first apartment here was the size of a closet. Could barely fit my couch in that little beat-up space. But hey, I made friends, played games with them for some CPO, and bought my first NFT from the marketplace. Nice dude gave me a little discount. And that started it all. I traded my way up to profits. Bought my bigger apartment here in the tower, made more influential friends, bid on new NFTs on the marketplace. And now, here I am, living this dream in my penthouse. And I can't wait for some new neighbors, so I hope to see you in our tower soon. NFTs have been one of the most dominant applications of blockchain technology and crypto over the past year. It seems that there is not a single day when news about a new NFT game or project is taking the crypto space by storm. Well, if you are a frequent viewer, you should have noticed that I have talked a lot about NFTs and blockchain gaming quite a lot too. However, what you don't see on my videos is the amount of NFT projects I research but decide not to cover. I find that most projects are not really innovating in any way, but only copying other popular NFT projects or games, changing basically nothing. This has become quite a trouble for the expanding NFT ecosystem as it doesn't only stall innovation but also delegitimizes the space. Well, I'm glad to say that today I will be covering an NFT project that is exactly the opposite of those projects. Cryptopolis. This is a game looking to create a social ecosystem powered by blockchain and crypto, allowing its users to generate gains in the process. However, it is not your usual Axie Infinity clone, but more of an online community in which you can interact with other people and play games. Let's talk about Cryptopolis. Are you making the money you want to in cryptos? There's a lot of money to be made in cryptos, but you aren't going to get there by buying a little bit of Bitcoin and stashing away as the early adopters did a decade ago. Trading with leverage allows your great trading ideas to sort in value and create massive profits. You should be trading with the best, and Bybit is it. Trading futures isn't just for professional traders, and with all the right resources that Bybit offers, you'll be trading crypto futures like a pro in no time. You will also get a $1600 bonus on Bybit by taking only 25 seconds to register, deposit and claim your bonus now. If you want to get the most out of a trading thesis, you need to be in the futures market. There are a lot of exchanges out there, but few can match the speed, service, and reliability of Bybit. Check out the link in the description on why you should be trading with Bybit. Have you heard? We are giving away $10,000. Yes, $10,000, and it could be yours. Stick around for more info on how you can win it, and start investing in cryptos at another level. Hello and welcome to Cryptopedia. I'm your gracious host, K7. If you love cryptocurrencies and finance, you are in the right place. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to keep up with all our great content. If you were an active internet user between 2000 and 2015, you might be familiar with Habbo. This virtual world was one of the most popular online communities for years, reaching as many as 5 million unique visitors per month and more than 270 million accounts. While Habbo still exists and is active, it is not as popular as it used to be. In fact, the game has recently started showing an interest in NFTs by launching its own NFT collection. The reason for me to mention Habbo is that Cryptopolis is similar in a lot of aspects. This social online game takes place in a tower by the name of Cryptopolis. Here, players can meet and interact with other people while buying their own rooms in the tower, which they can own and customize via NFTs that represent everything from the room itself its furniture and other objects to the character's inventory. As players expand their collections and earn more in the game, they can escalate the tower to gain access to better items, rooms, and features. With some time and luck, you could be the owner of your very own penthouse at the top of the tower, which in turn will allow you to gain even more wealth. Where most games focus on the competitive aspects of gaming, Cryptopolis is focused on the social aspect. There are many games, of course, but there are also a lot of other ways for you to have fun and generate money in the process. Unlike games like Axie Infinity, which require you to spend money in assets or characters to start playing, your first room in Cryptopolis will be free. From there, players will be able to start earning reputation and assets in the game to gain, buy, and sell NFTs in the marketplace. Let's take a look at some of the features you will find when joining Cryptopolis. First, we have the marketplace. As you can imagine, this is a place to buy, sell, and trade NFTs with other players. 
This is the heart and soul of the game for those looking to generate gains by planting. The game also has a fully functional friends and messaging system that will allow you to generate meaningful connections with other players. Just like in real life, the system will allow you to create connections with people you enjoy spending time with or just those you work with to reach an objective. This goes hard in hand with the character customization feature, which allows you to have your character reflect your style. In Cryptopolis, you will also have the option to acquire the game's token, CPO, using fiat currency. The opposite is also possible, which is great as you will not find yourself in need of going through exchanges to convert your hard-earned CPO. There will also be three mini games to start with. These skill-based mini games will allow you to compete with strangers or friends to wager as much CPO as you want and include ball battles, chess, and triple threat. All of these games require strategy and skill, which means those who take the time to master them will have the advantage. Speaking of mastering, the game also includes an experiment system by which you can level your character as you play. By leveling up, your character will become more efficient at collecting, buying, and selling NFTs. The more you play, the more XP you have, which translates to doing better in the game. This is something that I really enjoy about the game as it entirely removes the play to win approach many blockchain games have, which kind of defeats their purpose. Cryptopolis will run on Binance Smart Chain, which ensures players will not have to worry about high gas prices we have come to associate with Ethereum. This will also provide the game with high performance when it comes to transaction setting. This also makes the trading of NFTs as easy as it gets. Let's talk about NFTs. As I said before, these NFTs represent in-game assets that you can later sell or trade. Well, there's another feature when it comes to NFTs, and it's that a player can place a bid for an NFT you haven't added to the market. Let's say you have an extra rare NFT displayed in your Cryptopolis room and another player really likes it. They can send a bid for it or let you know their interest in acquiring it. While this might not sound as much, it is a big deal. This system will allow you to hold your items while also allowing other players to show their interest in them. You could also theoretically own your own gallery of collectibles in the games, running events by inviting other people just like an art gallery. It is just a completely different approach to traditional NFT marketplaces, which you will still have available if you prefer that method. As a social ecosystem, Cryptopolis will also have multiple public locations which can be visited by players. Are you feeling like going to the nightclub, maybe visiting the library, feeling like shopping? By visiting specific locations, you will meet people with similar interests to yours, allowing you to create meaningful connections. Of course, this is not the only use of these locations. For example, going to the gym will allow your character to improve its skill. This makes visiting these locations essential to advance in the game. If you are not familiar with Habo, you can think of this game as a second life but with cartoon characters as well as crypto and NFT capabilities. While the game has not launched, the team has already announced its first version of the game will launch the first quarter of 2022. And at this time, the team is focused on development of the game having the smart contracts audited, designing exclusive NFT collections, and more. On the crypto side of things, Cryptopolis has already listed its CPO token on PancakeSwap and launched its initial DEX offering, which means you can already acquire the token if you are interested in investing in the game during the early stages. The team will also be launching private betas for early investors, so this has the added bonus of giving you an early peek into the game. There will be a total of 1.5 billion CPO tokens, with 17% being allocated to the seed. Private and public rounds. 20% will go to the team and advisors to ensure the continued development of the project, 10% towards marketing to bring new players and investors to the game. And finally, the remaining 53% will go to the game's ecosystem, treasury, and liquidity pools. By acquiring the token, you will only be able to buy NFTs in the game and wager in the mini games. You will also be able to participate in the governance of the game, which will make use of the DAO governance. This token will be used to reward players, run content, and more. Something important to consider is that CPO is deflationary by nature, benefiting from the transaction fees players will incur in some instances. These include a 5% tax on AMM transactions and a 2.5% tax on NFT marketplace purchases. These fees are not definitive as they can be changed via DAO votes. The game developers have already partnered with important names like GameZone, Bluezilla, GFC, and CFX Gaming. This will ensure the game receives plenty of coverage and marketing in its early stages. So it is imperative you are quick if you want to increase your profit. I know I already did. I'm hoping to see more games follow different approaches to the play-to-earn model. 
Sure, I love competitive games myself, however, I believe by focusing so much on competition, the blockchain gaming industry has forgotten about an important part of the gamer community. By expanding the offering of games available in the crypto space, the entirety of the market will benefit. But now I want to know your opinion on Cryptopolis. What do you think about its social first approach? Are there other projects with a similar approach you are keeping an eye on? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Cryptopedia. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something from it, don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This was your gracious host, K7. And I'm out.